Jericho Steve of the Freedom Corner protest was found guilty today of sexual abuse for what he did to Anarchy Princess on national television at the Peter Navarro press conference. He received 180 days worth of jail time. Suspended. Which means if he doesn't follow the rules, he goes to jail. He has 18 months of probation. Probation request to transfer to Lancaster County, PA. 18 months more of the no contact stay away order from Anarchy Princess. 60 hours of community service, which will be at a 501c3 and needs to be approved. After six months or completion of community service, the judge authorizes the remainder of the probation be unsupervised and $100 be paid within a year to Crime Victims Impact Fund. Something of note said in the trial is that Jericho had to admit he has not had a job in 20 years. I guess now he'll have one working for free for at least 60 hours. That will be a major hardship for him. Glory B left the courtroom early after he was found guilty. I guess she needed to rush off to make some more generic jewelry. Jamie said she would have Steve on after and simply didn't. I assume she delusionally thought he would be found not guilty. And it was delusional to think he would be found not guilty because Rebecca's video showed exactly what he did. She bragged about it. It is still up on Twitter right now. Her laughing about it is up on Twitter. Remember, Rebecca posted it to celebrate what he did. Another fun fact some might forget is Tammy was actually talking to Sizzler about going to the event before they went, and her and Sizzler were talking about bringing flagpoles. Two, you might notice, have left the corner already. Now, you saw the video. Everyone's seen the video at this point, I think. Imagine seeing that video and then trying to claim it wasn't on purpose, or even maybe suggest Anarchy Princess caused it to happen. Because victim blaming was the defense they were trying to use. Because of course they were. Didn't work. They had no possible defense. Not with the video. Thank you, Rebecca. I wonder who else she's recorded that might have it used against them in court. Hmm. <sighs> now, of course, the corner's already, it's a slap on the wrist. They're nonsense. They're going to, of course, downplay it, right? Sexual abuse, that's second nature, I guess, for the corner. Is he going to be there? Is he going to go to the corner? Is he going to go to the corner knowing Anarchy Princess is in D.C. and when she goes to D.C. she protests there? And he's already violated the stay away order once by going there when she was there? Is he going to do, is he going to go? Is he going to roll the dice on that, you know, the same day? I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. Anarchy Princess is live. I'm going to have a link to that in the pinned comment for you if you want to hear her talk about it. There's a lot more, of course, I didn't cover. But yeah, guilty. No job for um, 20 years. So uh, I guess you can refer to him as a sexually abusing grifter and be accurate by federal court record. You could have said that earlier, you know, you, you would have been correct. Just, you know, wouldn't be reflected in the court. 